Many families have jewels and jewelry that are passed down from generation to generation. And this one, known as the Imperial State Crown. Some are merely sentimental, but others have significant value. And the Sovereign's Ring, known by some as the Wedding Ring of England. But are they as expensive as these? From a necklace with over 200 diamonds to a ring with a rare blue diamond, here are 15 of the most expensive jewels in the world. Number 15. King George IV State Diadem. There are very few things as impressive as the King George IV state diadem, and when you see something as remarkable as this diadem, you know it's gonna be expensive. Well, the diamond diadem, which you can see here behind me, is a, a very significant jewel because it's so familiar to us. The diadem has 1,333 diamonds, which weigh 320 carats, or 64 grams. In this collection of diamonds is a beautiful 4-carat yellow diamond in the front cross pate. It also has two strings of pearls and a decoration of roses, thistles, and shamrocks. These embellishments represent England, Scotland, and Ireland. The diadem was made for King George IV in 1820 by a London firm of goldsmiths and jewelers called Rundle and Bridge. It cost £8,216 at the time. In today's money, that would be over £600,000. Since its creation, it has been worn by every queen, and Queen Elizabeth II wore it to her 1953 coronation. It is also featured in paintings, on currency, and even in stamps. There will be very few people who haven't seen this diadem in some way, shape, or form. When it's not in use, it sits on display in the Queen's Gallery of Buckingham Palace. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Number 14. Marie Antoinette's Necklace If you've got a spare few million dollars, then you might be close to being able to afford the Marie Antoinette Necklace. With a price tag of $3.7 million, it is as beautifully elegant as they come. The necklace was named after the French queen, Marie Antoinette. She had a particular affinity for beautiful jewelry and the lavish royal lifestyle. That's pretty obvious in the finish of this piece. The stunning necklace once belonged to Marie Antoinette, the last queen of France. It was designed by De Beers, a corporation that's known around the world for its fine diamonds and jewelry. The necklace features two yellow diamonds of 7.06 carats and 5.24 carats, and a 1.84 carat pink diamond in the center. There are also three precious gems nestled between 181.1 carats of small diamonds in a platinum setting. Talk about drama. If that's not lavish enough for you, there is an 8.05 carat central diamond that has an anchoring effect in the middle of the necklace. There are no two ways to describe it. This necklace is exquisite. Still, do you know what else $3.7 million could buy you? 16 average American homes with change left over. Number 13. The Mrs. Winston. What could you do with $5.8 million? Well, you could buy 25 American homes with change to spare or 22 Lamborghini Huracans. You could even feed over 31,000 African children for an entire year. Or you could spend that 5.8 million bucks on the Mrs. Winston, a strikingly beautiful cascading diamond necklace. Mrs. Winston draws on the style of 1950s culture, and the results are impressive. 
This necklace can hold 187.5 white diamond carats, and it contains a total of 207 diamonds. The necklace is the creation of Harry Winston and was worn by the very beautiful Jessica Alba at the 70th Golden Globe Awards. Jessica also wore Harry Winston round diamond stud earrings and a pear-shaped diamond cluster ring. So why is this necklace so expensive? Well, no expense was spared in its creation. Not only does it come from a famous name, but all the diamonds are of D, E, and F colors, which means of high quality. They are also all set in platinum. The tapered look of the necklace is also a selling point, for it's both contemporary and retro without looking garish. Number 12. The Panther Bracelet you can show your significant other love in many ways. Other times, you might empty the dishwasher without being prompted or put away a load of laundry. Or you could do what the Duke of Windsor, Edward, did and spoil your love with expensive jewelry. The item that attracted most attention was a bracelet in the form of a panther. The Duchess of Windsor, Wallace Simpson, was a very lucky woman. Not only did Edward abdicate the throne for her, losing out on becoming the King of England, but he quite often had expensive jewelry commissioned just for her. One example of that was the Cartier Panther bracelet which went on to sell for a whopping £4,521,250. The bracelet was made in 1952 with single-cut diamonds and a caliber-cut onyx. The bracelet also had marquise-shaped emeralds. It was made just for her, and you won't find any other piece like it. That might be why some of her most precious pieces, which went up for auction at Sotheby's in London, sold for just under $8 million, with the Cartier Panther bracelet among them. This bracelet was a record setter, and its beauty leaves no question as to why. Number 11. Emerald and Diamond Tiara It's always quite memorable to pick a piece of jewelry out with your significant other. Then, every time you look at them, you're reminded of them and what they mean to you. But do you know what can often make a piece of jewelry even more special? When it's your significant other who designs it as well. That is perhaps why Queen Victoria's Emerald and Diamond Tiara means so much to her, and to others. And as you can see with emeralds, you need this consistency of color, this wonderful grass green. It was one of the most exquisite pieces in her tiara collection, and also her favorite. In part, of course, because the prince consort, her husband, Prince Albert of Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha, designed it for her. The tiara is a nearly entire circle and has cushion-shaped diamonds along the base. It also has step-cut emeralds with a row of 19 pear-shaped emeralds on the top. All emeralds were carefully selected, with the largest on the tiara weighing 15 carats. Prince Albert gifted the tiara to Queen Victoria along with pendant earrings and a 20-carat emerald brooch. And we're all here just wishing our significant others would take out the trash. Number 10. Heart of Kingdom Ruby the Heart of the Kingdom Ruby is a piece of jewelry that you describe in one word. Exquisite. From the 40.63 carat blood red ruby that has been expertly crafted into a heart shape, to the 155 carat cluster of diamonds around the outside, this necklace means business. Want to show the beautiful heart necklace here? So it's probably of no surprise that the Heart of Kingdom Ruby is worth 14 million dollars. Of course, all those diamonds and the fact you can turn the necklace into a tiara contribute to its price tag. But those aren't the only reasons. Blood Red Rubies are some of the rarest ruby types in the world. A single carat can often have record prices of over 1 million dollars. This one is over 40, so it's nearly a bargain. The necklace was also crafted by Gerard & Co, a London-based jeweler. The house of Gerard brand is known around the world, and probably even more so when they are the proud creators of a necklace comparable to no other. You could almost say that the Titanic's fictitious but still adored heart of the ocean doesn't even compare. Number 9. 
The Bulgari Blue Have you pulled up the couch cushions only to discover a pair 15.7 million bucks lying around? Yeah, same. Now, the hard part is deciding what to do with it. Of course, $15.7 million could buy you 13 used Cessna private jet planes with money to spare. Very rare color, fancy deep blue. But why not buy a piece of jewelry instead? That's right, there's actually a piece of jewelry that exists worth $15.7 million. And you can buy it. The Bulgari Blue is a private collector's piece that is on the market for $15,762,500. It is a blue, two-stone color diamond and diamond ring, designed by Bulgari. Bulgari is a famous Italian luxury brand famous for its glamorous jewelry, and this ring is no exception. It features an exquisite triangular cut vivid blue diamond that weighs 10 points. 95 carats. It also has a second triangular cut diamond of 9.87 carats directly below it. From the baguette cut diamond half hoop to the gold mounting and beautiful black silk box, it's hard to not make your eyes light up when you see this ring. If you're trying to get into your fiance's good graces, this diamond ring might be the best place to start. Number 8. Chopard Blue Diamond Blue diamonds are some of the most expensive in the world. They are rare and are only found among boron deposits, which is how they get their striking blue shade. So it makes a lot of sense for any jewelry featuring blue diamonds to be quite expensive. But you still might get a shock when you find out just how much this Chopard Blue Diamond ring is. Chopard is a high-end Swiss company known for its luxury jewelry and watches. Every year, they dress up celebrities in their exquisite pieces for red carpet events. They are also an integral part of the Cannes Film Festival. Still, if those events didn't put this company in the spotlight, then this diamond ring will. It's worth a whopping $16.26 million, and too many is worth every penny. It has a giant 9 carat blue diamond in an oval shape and has lovely diamond shoulders. These are set in an 18 carat white gold band with a few extra diamonds for good measure. $16.26 million could buy you a lot of pretty things. But could anything rival this exquisite piece? Very unlikely. Number 7. The Blue Bell of Asia Jewelry is often only as valuable as what people are willing to pay for it. Still, the Blue Bell of Asia will be worth its value whether people are fighting to own it or not. The Blue Bell of Asia is a 392.52 carat untreated cushion cut sapphire on a brilliant cut diamond tassel pendant. It's then mounted on a diamond and white gold necklace. Right here in my hand, I have the Bell of Asia. See, that's nothing short of divine. Still, it's not even its overall design or beautiful looks that make it worth a whopping 17,564,156 bucks. It's the blue sapphire. Finding a comparable diamond is near impossible because there's nearly nothing else like it in the world. Well, nothing discovered yet. The blue sapphire has incredible depth and clarity with a peacock blue color. This particular shade of blue is is often called cornflower blue, and it's nothing short of exquisite. In fact, it is one of the most desirable shades in sapphires, hence its price tag. Whoever bought the diamond, which was up for auction, clearly saw its value and rarity. It was sold in November 2014 in Christie's Geneva and went from $6.9 million as a starting bid to over $17 million in its final bid. To this day, the private bidder remains anonymous. Number 6. Cushion Fancy Vivid Pink Ring 
If you can recall Dolores Umbridge from the film Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, then you'll see where we're going with this. This cushion fancy vivid pink ring would suit Dolores' getup to a T. After all, how often do you come across a pink diamond ring? And because you don't come across a pink diamond ring often, you will pay through the nose for it. We call the pink. It has a bright pink color and it is the biggest cushion shaped diamond. This particular one, which is 16.08 carats, was thought to fetch a price between 23 and 28 million dollars. This ring is the largest of its kind ever to go up for auction at Christie's Geneva, and it sure captured a lot of attention. It had a vivid pink diamond set in a double halo of white pave set diamonds and a platinum and gold ring. The size 6 ring captured the hearts of women the world over who put on their best set of puppy dog eyes for their significant other. Even though this pink ring is rare, Christie's Geneva is no stranger to them. Seven years before this one went up for auction in 2015, they sold another one that weighed 5 carats for $2.16 million per carat. That ring still holds the record for the most paid for a pink diamond per carrot. Number 5. Zoe Diamond. Many pieces of jewelry get their value from who designed them, who crafted them, and who wore them. But the Zoe Diamond is something entirely different. This exquisite piece was a winner in its own right. Nothing else was known about its history. The 9.75 carat diamond was auctioned at Sotheby's New York as part of Paul Milan's collection. Paul was a famous banker who made millions in finance, industry, and oil sector investments. His diamond was certified by the GIA as having the highest grading possible as a fancy vivid blue diamond, and with a clarity grading of VVS2. This grading is extraordinary for diamonds of its size so it was probably not unexpected that it would fetch quite a high price tag. This diamond sold for $32.6 million in 2014, making it a world auction record for the price per carat at the time. Blue Vivid Diamonds are more expensive than many other diamonds you can buy, and there's a reason for that. They're only found in a few mines around the world, including in Australia, India, and South Africa. The more vibrant the blue color, the more expensive the diamond. Number 4. Chopard 201 Carat Watch How much would you spend on a brand new watch? $20? $25? How about $25 million? With more razzle-dazzle than a Mr. Whippy ice cream with sprinkles, this 201 carat watch is definitely a head-turner. But you'd expect that if you're handing over 25 million bucks for it. The watch is covered from top to toe in natural colored diamonds. These can be so blinding to look at that you'll surely not be able to tell the time while wearing it out in the summer sun. Still, as impractical as this time teller can be, there's no denying it's gonna win you a lot of friends. The timepiece itself has pink diamonds both in the watch face and the framing around it. There's also a mixture of yellow and pink diamonds among a few clear ones in its straps. We'd say this isn't your everyday average watch, but it will undoubtedly show people that you're worth a lot of money. And if it's not the watch itself that proves that, then its brand will. This watch is the work of art of Chopard, a Swiss luxury watch and jewelry manufacturer dating back to 1860. Number 3. The Incomparable Diamond Necklace they say that diamonds are a girl's best friend, but you're gonna be pretty disappointed by every other diamond ever made once you set your eyes on this exquisite piece. Known as the Le Incomparable Diamond Necklace, it features 407 carats and a $55 million price tag. Now you know why nothing else compares. 
and this unique opportunity to see a piece like this. The necklace has all its flawless yellow diamonds suspended from a rose gold setting, which also has 90 white diamonds of 230 carats. The diamond necklace is the work of art by luxury jeweler Muad. Muad is a Swiss and Emirati company that creates objects of art, jewelry, and luxury watches in Switzerland, the Middle East, Thailand, the US, Malaysia, and Singapore. If you're gonna shell out $55 million for a necklace, it better be worth your while. And this one is. Its total carat weight is 637, and it has yellow diamonds, 35 round diamonds, 27 pear-shaped diamonds, 5 emerald cut, 5 cushion-shaped, 9 heart-shaped, 4 oval, 3 asher cut, and 2 radiant. If that doesn't scream luxury, then nothing will. There had been plenty of expression of interest from buyers, but a piece like this might take a little while to sell. Number 2. Pink Star Diamond Ring With an estimated value of $71.2 million, but selling for $83 million in 2013, the Pink Star Diamond Ring is perhaps one of the most valuable pieces of jewelry in the world. It now holds the title as the most expensive diamond sold at auction. Let's put it this way. The old tradition was that you used to have to spend three months' salary on a wedding ring. But if you spend 83 million bucks on this ring, that would mean your yearly wage was 332 million dollars. While strikingly beautiful, the prettiness and sparkliness of this ring are not why it has the value it does. The diamond weighs 59.60 carats, and the stone took 20 months to cut. Its cut is also classed as mixed oval brilliant, and brilliant it is. It was mined by De Beers in 1999 and weighed 132.5 carats in rough form. It is now the largest known diamond to have been rated vivid pink. Sotheby's Geneva put the pink star up for auction in November 2013, and it reached a world record for any gemstone. It was then sold at auction in Hong Kong for $71.2 million to Chow Tai Fook Enterprises. Number 1. The Wittelsbach Graph Diamond who would have thought that something so small could end up being one of the most valuable diamonds in the world? Well, that's the case with the Wittelsbach Graft Diamond. This stunning 31.06 carat blue diamond boasts flawless clarity, a stunning color, and a price tag to match. You won't get change out of $24.31 million for buying this little beauty. The Wittelsbach Graft Diamond is thought to originate from India, but made its way to Europe in the pouch of an explorer and gems trader known as Jean-Baptiste Tavernier. Or so the legend goes. Dr. Klaus Schneider also traced the stone to a stone merchant and then to King Philip of Spain. And the research effort to find out more about this stone was entirely worth it because it's certainly something special. The blue diamond has 82 facets and dates back to around the 1650s. From then until now, it has been in some fairly important hands. From emperors and their daughters to archduchesses and the king of Bavaria, it is undoubtedly a diamond that royals have wanted to hold on to. Wind the clock forward and Mr. Lawrence Graf of Graf Diamonds purchased the Wittelsbach Graf Diamond from Christie's London Auction for $24,311,191. To most people, it's not the price of the jewelry that matters, but the meaning behind it. Still, how cool would it be to know that your favorite necklace could buy you a private jet or a fancy mansion? Were you surprised by the price tag of any of these exceptional jewels? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!